This is what I am packing for my trip to LA. It's none of your business. Want to be a freak and sell it on the weekends. None of your business. Oh, 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 oh. Coming this way. I'm an East Coast boy. I live near DC and it's March, early March, winter. I'm taking a trip out west, Southern Cali. I'm a last minute packer. I like to be geographically appropriate, seasonally appropriate, all of the above. I'm gonna let y'all pack it up with me. Let's see what the weather's like, Al Roker. How's the weather, Al? Let's check that old weather. Los Angeles, the city, the city of angels. Los Angeles weather in March. No, 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 no. That's stupid. I should put um Los Los Angeles uh weekly weather. And peek my childhood picture. Back to business. It says uh now to, today is March third. Tonight um 55 10 percent chance of precipitation. I don't see a temperature though. So Wednesday, the high is 75 degrees, the low is 55 degrees, all right? Zero chance of precipitation, zero percent. Thursday, 75, I mean 77 degree high, 56 degree low. Zero percent precipitation, you know what I'm saying? Friday, 74 high, 54 low. Zero precipitation. No precipitation for precipitation. Hey, Rihanna, where you at? Rain man, rain umbrella, where you at? Zero chance for precipitation. Of precipitation. It's looking like um highs in the highs in the seventies. Yo, mid mid seventies. So let's see what we have, man. Man, my my area looks a mess, man. Full disclosure, look at it. I got a lot of gaps. I got hangers. This thing is not color coordinated. I'm in bad shape, y'all. I'm, I'm even wolfing. I don't have a haircut. Look at all these missing teeth. You know what I'm saying? Unofficial. But it's real. This is what I got to pick from. A couple little sweaters and rugby's. Sweaters. Um, definitely won't be wearing these. Um, got these hats. Won't be wearing those. I might be able to get one of these off. Sometimes I just don't even feel like wearing hats though. Get sweaty. Sometimes you even feel like you got too much on, man. Too many accessories. Oh, and the bags. I don't think you really saw the um I don't think you really saw the red and blue rugby. Yeah. So we might take we might use this. Whoa. So we're gonna use this one. But let's look at some shirts, man. Obviously, I got you know stuff's missing. Um, what you think? L.A. 70s. It won't won't be this type of situation. What you think? Button down. Won't be won't be a corduroy type of situation. Are you you can do the corduroy? I don't know, man. I'm not going crazy. I just want to be. Fully clothed. Look at the look at the condition of this rugby. I washed it, and y'all told me not to throw these clothes in the washer, but I don't listen. Somebody said if you respect your clothes, if you care about your garments, never put them in the washer. But I do, and this is wrinkled. I don't mind. I don't see the difference. Do you feel like the washer ruins your clothes? But here's a couple rugbies. They crazy wrinkled. I don't know. These are options. All right, I'm gonna grab a few. I'm gonna grab a few and um and lay them out and see what we can come up with. But hold up, we got. But wait, but wait, you're too fresh, you know. All them pants, David. So we got jeans. We got jeans galore, baby. We got a little bit of the khaki them. The boys wear the khaki them, khaki pants. It won't be a corduroy, it won't, I'm not doing that. So it'll probably be like a couple pairs of jeans. So I'm gonna grab these, put these on layaway. All right, um, we got some rugby's right here. The 70s, should I fool with the rugby's? Um, for now, let's, let's see. Right. Ooh, look, 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 look. 
Forgot about these, the short sleeve joints. And belts. Ribbon belts. I don't know, like the ribbon is cool, but it's just, it's not that. It's only March, and I feel like the ribbon is for, you know, the, the, the later months, the mid months, summer months. Whoa, I almost fell. I just almost fell. All right. So, you know, you know, I love the rugby's. You know, you know this. And I might be able to get these off in the evening. Seduce, get seductive. I might be able to get away, away with these in the evening. But I don't want to risk being sweaty during the day. So how do I take care of this? I think I'm going to bring, um, I might just bring short sleeve polos and throw like a um a anorak in the bag or something. Tie an anorak around my waist. Let's grab more options. But the jeans, the trusty denim, it's probably a go. Go, go gadget denim. You know what I'm saying? Trusty denim. These these are not even low. These are gap. Few probably only one or two gap items, but yo, check out the wear on these pockets, man. I try to go exclusively low, but some things you just can't get rid of. Like, once they're broken in perfectly, it's tough to get rid of them. I'm never letting these go. I love the wear. Look at that that natural fray on the pocket. When I when I bought these, they were dark denim. Um, They even had like a slight sheen to them. It was that kind of almost shiny jean but not corny so i got these so these might go with me i uh, man these with some uh some broken in some broken in uh top siders that go hard so jeans so that jeans on deck jeans on deck I, i'm not doing khakis rugby's i might bring i might bring one but let me bring the uh let me bring the shirts over i wasn't trying to seduce you i was just Laying down so you can see my face. Just grabbed a few of these, right? Let's be spontaneous. Let's not let's not overthink it. Check this out. This generation, this right here, this goes right. The purple, um, the purple polo with the deep uh, neck plunging, the plunging neckline. Maybe uh, is that appropriate? So let's say this one is in, right? And I'm only I'm only going for a few days, uh, Wednesday, Wednesday to Sunday. Um, this one, um, classic yellow short short sleeve polo. Maybe this goes because honestly, I love I love um, I love this one with. Ah, she feel like I'm gonna fall over. I like this one a lot with you know with these. So this. You know, that's wait, nah, she, 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 because I, I lied already. I know what I want. I think I'm gonna bring this one. I like this one. It's stuck beneath my leg, and this one is an OG, OG classic. I think I had this one like the first time I ever went to Cali. All right, truth is, I don't know if I'm gonna make a real decision like while shooting this video. One thing I'm sure about is the bag. The rugby, rugby, rugby. It's a beautiful bag, man. Custom made from an actual rugby shirt. And we went ahead and just overdid it. Kind of went over the top and exaggerated um, or, or represented the rugby theme throughout the whole bag. We started with the rim or the top and fashioned a collar, right? It's canvas. But it represents a collar. The very top is leather. And then we use a different uh, a different canvas on the gusset. You know, fine leather, like crazy, crazy craftsmanship. Everything made by hand. These straps were cut by hand. Um, these tabs here, all hand cut. You know what I mean? This is from an actual shirt. You know what I'm saying? We even went ahead and did like this little button type area. So, yo, I'm designing, I'm designing a ton of stuff. Um, this is what you call an upcycle. Um, 
You can get at me if you want to get your hands on something like this. I'll be flipping a bunch of variations. Yeah. The bottom is leather. A nice antique metal for the uh, for the hardware. The strap comes apart in two pieces. I like how this strap comes comes all the way apart. The canvas guts. So I'm gonna figure out exactly what I'm putting together and then I'll let you see what it look like, my brother. So yeah, I showed you these. So this is a lock. We got the, um, you know, some, some denim with uh, little whiskers on it and um, like a peach and white, uh, but you know, three button polo. Um, then I got like the one with the deep, uh, the deep collar or the deep neck, the plunging neck purple joint um the yellow so i'm gonna take both of those with the good old uh gap jeans got this one here another classic you know with some um some light some light denim jeans the button downs are out okay i decided um i'm not going i'm not gonna go with the button downs these are out but the blue the blue anorak right i think the blue anorak Ooh, the leather the leather tabs the oversized buttons the brown buttons this goes so let me get these out the way so not the as not to cloud the soon so i think i think that goes well with you know the rest of these and if if i want to do a sweater these are out right and if I want to do a sweater, I got this one. Because this is a beautiful sweater. I wore this to the beach once, like in, in the summer. It was probably like July or August. And I wore this. It's it's a very, it's a thick sweater. But the knit, the knit is so light. You know what I'm saying? Like the, the air, the wind gets through it. It like, it won't, it won't cook you. Like you could get, get away with it on the, um like a, a nice spring night, a summer night. So this this should do over there in um over there in LA. It's a shawl. Little wood buttons. It's perfect. So this is this is my lay. And I'll probably just take one um one pair of shoes. I got a pair of I forgot what I was saying. But this is the layout. I'm cool with it. It's simple. You know, just some basic simple uh, colors that for me work well in those 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 warm, sunny, beautiful vacation type environments. Oh, I was telling you what sort of shoes I have. So I have a pair of uh, top siders. My top siders have holes in them, but it's all good. And it, it's, it's not going to rain much, right? You said like 0% precipitation, 10% precipitation. So I should be okay. That's the only blower of wearing like those worn out shoes. You know, if they if they catch a hole in the sole, then um you get you get water, you get wet socks. What would Dave Money pack on a trip to LA? Um here it is.